Hey guys, um, after two years of living nomadic, long overdue, I am finally bringing you guys into my luggage. So if you're ever wondering how on earth does she stay so fly and live out of a suitcase, this is exactly the video for you. I am going to be showing you how I approach long-term travel, how I have for two years, how I basically made this process quite seamless, and I'm gonna share with you specifically what I do and how I kind of strategically align my travel to stock up on certain products so that I'm not lugging around a lot. Um, so it's gonna be a long video, a lot of detail. I'll put in the detail section kind of certain areas that you might be interested in if you wanna fast forward, but I'm gonna give you all the detail because not a day goes by where I'm not asked how on earth I do it. And now I'm gonna show you how, so stay tuned. Okay, first things first, let's cover the basics. So. I, my airplane outfit. I always make sure I'm super comfortable because I'm typically in long hauls. So I'll bring one pair of tights and usually wear a little tank top. And I bring my sweater with me, obviously because airplanes are cold, but also because it's a super bulky item, I won't need to put in my suitcase. So I opted this season for a cute little cropped hooded sweatshirt. I also bring on the plane with me my my purse. This is a purse I got from Muji for $8.99. I don't invest and bring a lot of expensive things on the road with me because if it's lost, I can't care. Or if it breaks or if it gets ruined, I can't care. I bring this on the airplane with me and inside I just carry my gum, my passport, my wallet, some earphones, and my phone. So here is the luggage I take with me. Um, I have a small little carry-on. It's smaller than the average size carry-on. It's actually an under-seat carry-on. Love it because I can always bring it on with me for any flight, regardless of their requirements. And obviously my neck pillow. Um, and then here's my big suitcase. It's right now currently weighing 22.5 kg. I always leave a little of extra space, usually about five to 10 kg for food when I'm flying because I need to take food with me to the next country perhaps, especially if I'm visiting really small villages. I like to bring my protein supplements and all that good stuff. And if you have black suitcase, one of these little straps are really helpful um, to differentiate your suitcase to make sure nobody takes it when you're um, looking for your luggage. So I just opted for a lovely yellow strap as well as, of course, always have to represent my Canadian tag. first my carry-on now if you follow me on my IG stories you know I love 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 this carry-on I found it it's new it's from Samsonite it has many different compartments in it, which I love another thing I love about this carry-on is it can actually slide onto the back of my big suitcase it's really easy to just kind of top them on one another and roll one thing so I love 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 this element because it's also a four wheelie and what I also love about this suitcase or carry-on is the different compartments. So there's one really cool little compartment here which I house just really important things that I need right away. So keys, pens, my gratitude journal, and some earphones is what I have in here. This is how small it is compared to me and I'm quite small, I'm only 5'2". So opening up my carry-on, I'll show you what's inside. I love this carry-on specifically because of all the compartments. So the top compartment here is my notebook. I live and buy by, die by this notebook. So as a heads up, anything that comes on my carry-on is just anything that I absolutely need. It's worth value and I want it on with me at all times. And there's a little cute flappy thing here that I house my Kindle in. Then I bring my laptop. Again, something that is my business is online, so it's really important for me to always have my laptop so that comes in my carry-on with me. My camera comes in my carry-on with me because, again, very valuable and it's just something I absolutely cannot lose. Um, this camera case, I get a lot of questions about it. It's a cute little leather cam camera case from Amazon. Carry my vitamins with me just because I'm usually on long hauls and they're usually 24 hours up to, so I like to have my vitamins. Compression socks, so, so, so important for long haul flights. Um, I've actually done a full post on blood clots, so if it's something you're not familiar with, highly recommend, and I bring it with me in my carry-on. This water bottle is the Contigo water bottle. I got it off of Amazon. Honestly, I love it. It's leak proof, so I can lie it down flat. It's one liter, um, and it keeps things cool for up to like 24 hours. So this is the water bottle I choose to bring. Even though I have my sweater, I bring a scarf with me 
just in case because it gets really cold. This is the vinyasa scarf from Lululemon. I love it. It's versatile. I bring a head scarf. <laughs> um, put it in this little plastic container because sometimes my hair gets oily with the products I use, so I just don't want the oil to spill or, or spread anywhere else. But my head wraps so my hair stays nice on my flights. All my black women will relate to this. This is my little carry-on um, toiletry case. I have feminine products in here. I have a set of earplugs in here, some hand sanitizer. I have an eye mask, um, some Kleenex, a little mouthwash, <laughs> so cute. And I have a mini toothbrush. So this is just what I need for my long hauls. I keep it in here. Um, at any time I use it up, I just replenish it, and you can replenish it in most airports. It's just nice having something on me that I can stay fresh with. My mini makeup container, this just has the essential makeup that I need. Um, my big, my like, bigger makeup container is in the suitcase, so you'll see that shortly. But this just has some lip gloss, some eyeliner, some mascara, and a little compact mirror. Base wipes, so important. I like to keep my skin clean. My sunglasses case, I actually love the sunglasses case. <laughs> my mom and I made it out of felt from the dollar store. So literally all we did was get some felt and sew it together and put little grooves in it. And then I can roll it up and it's this small. And the reason why I travel with my sunglasses is because they're breakable and I don't want them to go on my big luggage. And last but not least, some treats. I almost always prepare food, um, but I am going on a red, red eye tonight. So my plan is to sleep for the 10 hours. Um, and then when I get to Italy, I will have breakfast. So that's my thought process. So I just actually, for this flight, I packed some yummy treats, quick protein bar, and these veggie chips that are made out of sweet potato from Whole Foods. And that's it, guys. That's all that's in my carry-on. Okay, so this is my suitcase. Um, now, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I live out of this for six months out of the year. I've sort of adopted a bit of a minimalist mentality where now I only need one suitcase and it serves me so well. So I'm so excited to take you guys inside. It's a larger size suitcase. The weight right now is 22.5 kg. Usually most long hauls will allow me to carry about 30 kg. I just save that wiggle room for things like food I might want to bring to a new country. But ultimately what you see in the suitcase is basically the bare minimum of what I need to travel for the next six months. It's quite large, I don't know if you can see that. But I'll take you through it. And this actually is gonna be quite long. This is from Samsonite. I just bought it, I think it weighs like three kg, which is really important for me, the actual suitcase itself, so it's lightweight. It's four wheels. Um, this isn't sponsored, it's just something that I think every nomadic or long-term traveler should be aware of. You want your suitcase to be light. It is so important for you to have that extra space for your belongings versus an extra hard suitcase. I've been traveling now to probably over 70 countries, living out of my suitcase for two years with a soft case, and I've never had an issue with anything breaking. So let's get started. In this top section here, I have my yoga mat. I'm really big in stretching and doing yoga practices, so I actually got this foldable yoga mat from Amazon, Gaiam. It's the brand. Now, a lot of women ask me about my hair. I do use crochet braids as protective styles. So my very front pocket is where I house my hair. <laughs> um, and I only bring enough for like one or two styles because what typically happens is I work in my route of traveling where I'll stop in major hubs where I can actually replenish. So in this case, um, I also always bring a wig with me in the event that I don't have the need to do my hair, I can just rock a wig. I'll be for two months in Europe and I'm going to end my route in London, and London is a great spot to replenish, so I'll replenish there for the next two months. So I kind of strategically plan my path where I can replenish on products that I can't bring. It just doesn't make sense to bring six months worth of hair with me on the road. So I bring two months, and I plan in my route to stop at major cities so I can replenish along the way. So that goes in the top part of my suitcase right here. And now we're going to get into the meat of the suitcase. So. Extra padding, I top my suitcase with my sarong. I also use it as a head wrap <laughs> for when I don't have my weave in, I just want to take a protective style. So wrap your head if you want with this. You can use it as a beach sarong. I can use it as an extra blanket. 
I can even wear it cute as a top. So I love this color. I was feeling blue this season. So I brought this one. It's from Bali. I use it as a towel sometimes if I'm in an Airbnb where there might not be a towel. So love, love, love my sarong. One of the things you're going to see as I unpack is that everything kind of has its own individual case or container. Um, and this is essentially my closet. I need organization because I can't be having like all my stuff mingled so that I'm having to throw things out to look for like one top. No. So everything has its own container compartment. So this little cute bag I got for my ladies in South Africa for my South Africa retreat, they, they bought it for me. I house my electronics in here. So electronics meaning cords, chargers, extra outlets. I have one big power adapter outlet that is like universal, but then I also bring these little ones because I know I'm going to Europe, so I wanted the Europe plug. An old battery pack is in here. A little um, connector to my laptop to connect my USB, my chargers, extra chargers for my camera and my phone, extra set of headphones for my, my um, iPhone, extra little ear things for my ear pods, and again, just extra chargers because it can be really expensive in places, especially because if you're in a dire need and you need to get it at an airport, they're overcharged. So I always just like to make sure I have a couple extra. They're extra small. Um, and they fit into this nice little container. So this container is probably half filled, so it doesn't take up much room at all, but keeps me extra safe and has helped me in mind. Like I said, my entire business is online. So it's a really important I have all my extra stuff with me. Always bring a shaker cup. So you can find, well for me, because I obviously in fitness and I love my protein supplements. So I can find protein almost anywhere, but having my own personal shaker cup has really served me on this journey. Um, so wherever I am, I can find my protein. I just throw it in here and I have it, wash it and I pack it with me. Okay, so this little case here houses all of my jewelry. I love it because A, I got it from um, a craft shop, a local craft shop in Ghana. So it's really special to me because I know it was made by the local women and I got to meet them, which was really fun. And it opens up like this. And now when it comes to jewelry, I'm really simple. Everything I bring is costume jewelry. I don't bring anything of value because like I said, if anything happens, I don't want to have to care. So bringing costume jewelry really works for me. I bring maybe six earrings. These were from like Colombia. I'm someone who quite likes some big, fun, chunky necklaces. So I'll usually bring one or two for the season. When I say season, by the way, you hear me say that a lot. It's really my travel season. So this necklace I brought. And then what I brought is really big statement earrings. So fun earrings like this. You can see them. I have yet to be in a country where I can't find earrings, so in jewelry in general. So I'll just bring my cheapy costume jewelry, usually found at Forever 21 or like an H&M. I build global cities, um, or I should say bigger cities, into my path when I'm traveling. So there's always opportunities to replenish. I find a lot of times people pack as if they're never going to see a store again, and that's just simply not the case. Pack to last you for a couple months, and then from then, on, then onwards, you can just replenish, and that's what I do. Bring a couple studs. It's also really important, some of the places I go to, these earrings I always wear, they're actually real gold. So some countries I go to, um, gold is very valuable. So I'll bring kind of fake little studs. That I can wear. And I'll put these ones up. But jewelry is something that I just haven't really invested in and cared much about while traveling. So. The bare minimum is all I bring, personally. And then I have my watch that I wear. This watch, I also have to give a quick shout out to, it is this, the Fossil Watch. It's about a hundred and something dollars. It looks like a normal watch. This counts my steps, it monitors my sleep, it is still really cute and simple, and I absolutely love it. Yes. Little container here for my toiletry items, or not my toiletry items, my personal women items. So if any man is watching this, but I basically bring enough tampons, and these are organic tampons, for two months. Um, so two cycles. In the past, I've brought Diva Cups on the road with me. I love the Diva Cup. But the only issue with the Diva Cup is that I'm in usually a lot of places where 
the water isn't sanitary. So I've retired the Diva Cup and I've just moved to organic tampons. And they're really, really helpful because again, I can just throw them away, usually they're biodegradable. Um, but what's most important is that I can replenish them when I hit my major hubs like a London and a Hong Kong. So I can't stress enough, you don't need all the products for six months, just go off with two months and in two month increments, build in a major hub into your, your, your route. I have to talk about this bag. I love this bag. So when it comes to purses, I showed you guys my travel purse that I bring on the plane with me. That's also my everyday purse when I'm traveling. A fanny pack is something I bring with me. I love this fanny. I got it from Winners. It's like this. I love it because it's small. It's relative to my hand. This is how big it is. So it holds my phone and just my essentials. I think it's super fashionable. Love that fanny packs are back. So I bring the purse you guys saw on the plane. I bring that with me traveling, I bring a fanny pack, and then I bring a big enough bag that I can bring my work stuff in. So it's important again, as a nomad, especially a digital nomad, I always have to have my laptop on me, and I need to sometimes find workspaces, and I go to co-working spaces, in coffee shops. So having a little bag with me that I can just use like a bit of a work bag has been really helpful. Backpacks just actually don't serve me. I used to bring a backpack and I realized it's just wasted space. If I go on a hike, my fanny is usually sufficient with a bottle of water don't really have any for a backpack, so I stopped bringing them. Having a heavy backpack on my back for two years straight was literally causing me pain. So now I've just retired that, use my rolly carry-on for when I'm in the airport as my carry-on, and now I've moved to a little side bag to have with me on the road that I carry for my work days. And if I'm doing a hike, my fanny pack is more than sufficient. So, in this little bag here is a bigger bag. How cool is this? Now, I've seen a lot of these bags before, but the reason why I love this one in particular is because A, it's waterproof, so it's that cool swishy material. B, it doesn't crinkle. So a lot of the times we have these foldable bags, they crinkle so much. And this fits my laptop, a bottle of water, a snack, and usually my like stationary items. So if I need to go work for the day in Bali, I can just put everything in here and I can go and have my work day. So I love this bag. It's from Lole, L-O-L-E. I was in there looking for fitness clothes and came out with this bag. It was about $70, so it was expensive, but it's my work bag. I'm a digital nomad, so carrying my laptop and all my items with me as I work and travel is really important. But I love it, it's my favorite purchase so far. But next up, we got these two little cases. I love them, I got them from the dollar store. They're meant for, I think, laundry purposes, but I got them and I just, again, more separation. If I want a panty, I don't want to be searching through my luggage looking for a panty. I just know I can grab this and this is where my panties are. Separation and organization in my suitcase is so important. I also keep in here, this is something I would highly recommend. I also got this from a dollar store. Oh, I should say panties and socks, sorry. I have about a week's worth of socks in here. That's only because many of the places I travel, I actually wear flip-flops a lot, so socks aren't something I wear. I just usually wear socks to the gym. So eight pairs of socks can last me for about two weeks in the gym because I only go four days a week. And in there I also keep my slippers. So I got these at the dollar store as well. I always bring house slippers with me because when I travel to Airbnbs, I just like to make it feel like it's kind of home. <clears throat> so these house slippers really help. And I really love them because they're foldable. And you know I love anything compact. So foldable little house slippers and it comes in its little case to keep things separate. And I keep that in this little case with my underwear and socks. And then in this second one, I've got my bathing suits. I carry five bathing suits with me on the road, or well, four actually. Um, much of my travel life is on a beach because I just love beaches. So four bathing suits works for me. I've actually left some room in here in case I wanna buy a new bathing suit because Specifically, Bali and Thailand have some really nice bathing suits. So I'm looking forward to shopping there. So I left one room for one more bathing suit in here. So bathing suits go here. I just fold them up really small, put them in the container, and it's nice and compact. Fold everything in. Then I get a lot of questions about makeup. So I chase the summer. Uh, meaning I go to really, really hot climates all the time, so I just don't bring a lot of makeup. All my makeup fits in here. So my little makeup container I carry on the airplane just for like some cute essentials, like eyeliner and my um, mascara. But here's where I carry 
a little bit more makeup for when I want to go out. But honestly, this container has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller over the years. And that's just because I've started to really kind of embrace my own beauty and tried not to cake on too much makeup. It just doesn't really feel great anymore as I get older, I guess. So in here I have some highlighter. I'll usually pack these like little compact cute eyeshadows. So there's like a four in one. Um, two lipsticks is what I bring. Three lip glosses is what I bring. Um, I have an eyebrow pencil. I have two brushes in here. <laughs> I'm just going through it. And an extra mascara just because I'm obsessed with this mascara. Usually I don't bring extra anything because again, you can find things on the road. For some reason, you can only find this mascara in like Toronto and very select cities. So I bring an extra one here because I just love it. Um, and same thing goes for my liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner is really hard to find. So I usually just bring, bring an extra one. one. And two will easily last me for six months. Two mascaras will easily last me for six months. What I also bring in here is I bring lashes. I usually peel them out of the container. I bought bulk, them in bulk from Amazon. And I put them in this little container here. So I take them out of the big cases they come in and I just throw them in here. For me, lashes make my face. So I don't believe in the permanent lashes because I just don't like them or the semi-permanent ones. So I just have glue on lashes that I bring. It really helps me feel like I've dolled up myself even though my makeup can be quite simple. And I think you guys will see when I do my IG videos and stuff and oh and loose powder. I don't do foundation abroad because it just gets really gross. Um, because again, I, I travel in such heat, hot climate. So loose powder has really, really helped because it helps take away the shine. And I only really use this when I go out. Honestly, when it comes to makeup, if you treat your body well, if you eat the right vegetables, this is the health side coming out of me. You drink enough water, you actually don't need to cake on the makeup. It's really a reflection of what's happening on the inside. So once I started to clean up my diet, for me, I should say, when I started to clean up my diet, I found that I've needed less and less makeup as the years have gone on. When it comes to makeup, it's probably the only thing I bring a couple items of, specifically when I'm in places like Asia. So for instance, I might bring, I'll buy a brand new loose powder, or I'll bring two if I'm gone for like more than six months, only because my color can be hard to find abroad. Um, but because I'm gonna be in Europe for two months, I only brought the one that I had. Um, and that's it for makeup, super small relative to my hand size. This case is actually from Muji. Love that Muji store. It was in Asia when I first, when it first opened and now it's kind of gone global, which is great because it has the cutest little travel accessories. Next up, I bring a laundry bag. So important for a nomad to have their own laundry separated. Usually a lot of people ask me how I do laundry. We'll try to find Airbnbs with laundry like in it. Um, but if we can't, then I go to laundry mats and I go to little laundry places that will do my laundry for me. In Asia, it's a breeze to find. And in Italy, it's a little hard, or in Europe, it's a little harder. Um, in Africa, it's a little harder as well. South America is pretty easy. So it kind of just depends on the continents I'm going to, but I always bring a laundry bag with me. And I just stole this from a hotel. It's cute because it says, it's in the bag. Okay, I also bring, again, a separate container. <laughs> um, this is like my little fitness bag. It doesn't have much in it because I tend to find gyms wherever I go. Um, but in the event, for some reason, I'm in a small little village and I can't find a gym, I always have backups. So my workout gloves come with me everywhere. I have one band, it's about medium tautness. So it allows me to stretch. I can do most workouts with this one little workout band. I got it off of Amazon. It came in a pack of like 20. I just bring one with me. Jump rope, super helpful, especially on the days I don't want to go for a run. Helps me get my steps in and just keeps me active. And then I love this because it goes well with my um, band. It can be put in the door and I can use it for a lot of lower body exercises and upper body exercises. So it's like that door hinge that allows me to do some more with a anchored end to my band. So I put in my little fitness pack. It's super lightweight and helps me for those random moments where I somehow, for some reason, cannot find a gym. So I'm prepared for most uses have my little gym exercise container here. Toiletries, I'm always asked about. So here are my two toiletry containers. Um, this one, I 
had for so long. I wish I could tell you where I got it from. I can't, I'm sorry. But this one's very similar. It's from Costco. I just got it last week, so hot off the press. And both of these containers I love, they're kind of set up the same way. So I'll maybe just show you one and how it's set up. But basically, you open it up, it opens into a cute little hangable thing. So you can hang it on the back of a door. So I have one for my hair products and one for kind of like face and body. So this is strictly toiletries. The other one was makeup. For my hair products, I am, again, pretty minimalist when it comes to my hair products. Underneath my crochet braids is my natural hair. It's been flourishing since I just simplified my routine. So I take out my crochet braids every kind of three weeks and I'll give my hair a good treatment. So in here, and this is probably only gonna relate to the women of color. Mm, so if you're not a woman of color, maybe you can fast forward this section or you can watch it if you wanna know what goes on in the women of color hair care. So when I take out my crochet braids, um, I'll usually do a deep conditioner. Oh, sorry, I'll usually do a hot oil treatment. And oils you can find anywhere in the world. So I'll just go into the grocery store and buy olive oil. So I'm not gonna bring olive oil with me because I can buy that anywhere. And I bring my own shampoo because I do believe in all natural shampoos and those aren't easy to find everywhere. And then this is just a curl cream that helps keep the curls nice and lovely. So this is a curl cream that I bring. So two little containers here. For my deep conditioners, I actually found these little packets help me a lot. Only buy enough for a couple months, again, because I'll stop in my major hub and I'll pick up some more of these, but they're just little individualized packets. I find them really good and easy on space. And then this is my holy grail. So I actually bring, it's probably the biggest thing I bring. <laughs> um, and you can see just because of its size, like it's the size of my head, uh, but it's my castor oil. It's straight from Jamaica. Jamaican castor oil I love for my hair. I put it on my scalp in between my crochet braids. And honestly, I tried all of the castor oils in the world. This one came straight from Jamaica from my auntie supplier. She makes it out of the castor nut. She sells in the market. So this is what I bring because this is really hard to find anywhere else. So, and I just put it in a normal container. And that's my kind of hair care every, like I said, three weeks or so. Oh, I also bring a little thing of gel and a little thing of um, like a cream-based moisturizer. But you can find most things in major hubs, so I don't pack for D-Day. Oh, and one really cool thing I'll say about just packing toiletries overall is you want to, maybe it's best to show anything with a twist top, you want to throw maybe a plastic I usually cut up a plastic bag because I want to save the environment um, in any way I can. And you put it over your container under the cap, it prevents spilling. I've yet to have a spill in my suitcase when I've done this. Um, I still do kind of separate everything in little bags just to make sure, all reusable bags. Um, but I've yet to have a spill because I use that little trick, that little travel hack. That's really my hair care. <laughs> I wish so. there's a deep conditioner in there, those little packs. There's some shampoo, there's something to keep my curls nice and popping. Um, so a little, like a moisturizer curl thing. Um, and then my castor oil. And there's my hair care. I bring needle and thread for my ladies who know how to do weave. Um, I do my own hair, something I've taught myself since I started traveling six years ago because you can't really find women to do your hair in Sri Lanka. So it's really important that I learned and educated myself on how to do my hair. So little needle and thread here for that. I bring a couple headbands, so not much at all. A couple bobby pins, that goes in this little section here. Not really worth bringing it out, but just a couple headbands, a couple bobby pins. And then I do bring two crochet needles to do my crochet braids because those are hard to, harder to find. I do bring a pair of shears with me. I do my own trimming. And I bring two combs one big comb and then one kind of tail comb, which you can see through here. And that is my hair care. All fits into this lovely little container. 
And then my face and body care. So that goes into this one. So this is, like I said, straight from Costco. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, for my Canadians, this one might be from like Shoppers Drug Mart or something, which is our equivalent for my Americans of like CVS, Walgreens, I think, in the cosmetic section. But it's eons whole, old, but I'm, sh I'm sure they have similar stuff. My toiletries. So this is from Costco, hot off the press. Just got it. Love it again because it has a little hanger. And in here, I'll actually walk you through what I bring in my toiletry case. Because I think, again, I simplify things so much that people might find value in it. So my skincare is minimal. I, again, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of vegetables, so don't really need a lot of skincare. But I do have a, a moisturizer, a daytime moisturizer. CeraVe is what I use. It has some SPF in it. Honestly, it was on sale. Don't really care much about skincare when it comes to products. It's again, anything from the inside out. Do love rosehip oil though. So I bring rosehip oil with me because I find extra moisturizing and it helps with my scars because I'm fairly lighter skin. If I do get an acne or a hormonal bump, it will leave a scar. So it's important for me to have some things to help eliminate that. So on that note, I bring rosehip oil and I bring with me bio oil. And I just spot treat some of the scars that are bound to happen with my hormonal acne that comes up every period. Most Airbnbs I have will have something to wash my body with, but I have a little Dr. Bronner's in the event that they don't, um, that I use. And like I said, I barely use it because most Airbnbs will have something to wash my body. A little mouthwash I bring with me on the road. Um, don't use mouthwash every day, maybe every couple days, just to make sure my gums are good and clean, but it's not something I use often. This is my little dispenser I use for um, my lotion, i.e. oil. <laughs> um, so olive oil, like I said, has been my go-to for hot oil treatments when it comes to my hair, and actually moisturizers when it comes to my body, and even makeup removers if I am wearing makeup that day. Olive oil has been my go-to. I prefer to coconut oil because of the solidifying of coconut oil. I find it extra annoying when I'm in the climates and need to de-thaw it. Olive oil is always <laughs> liquid and it works really well and moisturizes my skin. Olive oil is everywhere. Little body spray perfume that I bring. And I usually bring a rag um, for my fellow Caribbean people who use rags <laughs> to shower. Um, I find most Caribbeans and people of color use rags. It's what we use as kind of a cloth to wash our bodies. But anyways, I use this to wash my body and I keep it in a Ziploc bag just to, in case it happens to be wet, but like I, but most Airbnbs honestly have a little hand towel that I can use. So again, I saw the news that I'm in an Airbnb right now and I haven't had to use it yet. So but there is one thing I have. So when it comes to washing my face, I use my wipes mostly and then I usually just use water. I don't use heavily cleansing creams and stuff because my chemist client slash French, the skincare chemist, and she schooled me on our skincare and how we over cleanse and that our skin actually isn't scared of dirt. Our skin actually likes dirt. Um, and that might sound a little gross for some people, but I've just been less, less, it's been less of a necessity to like scrub my skin clean. A face wipe works just well, and in the morning just rinsing it with some water. I simplified my skincare routine tremendously. And I used to have adult acne, only realizing that of course that acne came from the way I was treating my body. But for the, a random occasion where I do need to wash my skin, I've chosen a tea tree soap. So, don't know what the brand is, but it's from my health, health food store. And I keep it in this little container. I just wrapped it with hair elastics because this container tends to break. I have in my toiletry container some Q-tips. Small little deodorant. Don't need a really a big one. I only wear deodorant like I don't actually wear much deodorant, so this will last me probably a good three, four weeks, maybe two months. And then I'll bring a little floss and toothpaste and toothbrush. That's it for my toiletries. Oh, I lie. Roll-on perfume has been amazing. So I have the body spray. Um, if I'm just quickly heading out, if I'm going out to summer formal and I want perfume, I brought this, bought this Prada candy roll-on perfume from Sephora and I love it. And I also brought one razor with me on the road. I don't want to take it out because it's a little stuck in there, but one razor with me on the road. Razors you can buy anywhere, so I definitely don't pack that in bulk. And zip it up, and that is my toiletry.
I do stock up on my dead vitamins. Um, I think having a multivitamin has helped me. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but I have brought the multivitamins with me. I stocked it up. And a quick travel tip. So this is actually four months worth of vitamins because they only pull the vitamins up halfway. So I pour two bottles of vitamins into one bottle of vitamin and I'm able to compact everything. So this is four months worth. Um, and then I have one month of my carry-on that I carry. So I have six months worth of vitamins in just three containers. So that's a quick travel hack for you. Okay, shoes. I mentioned I bring my sneakers on the plane with me, and then I have three additional pairs of shoes that have served me really well. Four pairs of shoes is what I brought every time on the road with me for the last year and a half of travel. One is just a really awesome, basic water shoe. It's waterproof. You throw it on. This is just what I use if I want to bring, put it in the shower or you wear it in like a public communal shower, which I don't really ever find myself in, <laughs> but for some reason, I can wear it to the beach. I can wear it to walk. And it's just a really cute shoe. These are off of Amazon. They are the Crocs brand, which is crazy because they're just so cute. And they were 20 Canadian dollars. I got them on sale. So I'm gonna put that back in there. And then I have one kind of more dressier flat shoe. You can see this. I keep neutral colors because I only bring one on the road with me. It's flat, it's small, and it's compact, and I love it. Goes with most outfits, that's why I picked the neutral color. Got that from Aldo, like maybe 60 bucks, 70 bucks. And then I bring one heel with me. This season, travel season, I have opted for this heel. I love it, it's a little chunky. Not too high because, let's be honest, high heels are just not my thing. Um, and I love them. So those are my three shoes. One for everyday wear, walk around the house, walk around if I need to go to the beach, waterproof, flimsy, but good quality because they're Crocs. And then one a little more dressier sandal and then one heel and then my running shoes, which I wear on the plane because they're extra bulky and they're comfortable so I like them on the plane. And I don't have to use up space in my suitcase for it. So I'm gonna move my luggage down so I can walk you through the clothes. I know a lot of the women are curious about the clothes. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but guys, I'm fly. I keep things fly. I just want to feel really pretty in my clothes. So I do take a lot of time planning on my outfits. Um, and each season I replenish and I get some new ones and I'll give away the old ones. And if I buy something new on the road, something else gets donated. So that's the minimalist mentality in mentality in me. I make sure it's something I really want and that it's valuable and all that good stuff, but I don't just continue to add it. <laughs> I will buy something new and I'll give away something else. Um, and that's just how I roll. So packing cubes are my life. These packing cubes are called Travel More. They're from Amazon. I love them because they have the, re the normal like depth of a packing cube, but they're double-sided zippers which means you can pack one segment of clothes in the top, one in the bottom. Most packing cubes, like this one, look like this where it's just one zipper, so you're ending up packing double and having to again sift through. This double situation, double zipper layered situation just keeps things so much more organized. So highly recommend if you're looking for packing cubes, get double-sided zippers. So this one is my workout packing cube. Workout clothes, I should say. Workout clothes in 90s. So without taking everything out, I did just pack. But maybe I'll just give you the general gist. One, two, three, four, five sports bras, three workout tops, and two kind of cover-ups. When I say cover-ups, I just mean these loose things that I can throw over a sports bra. So I guess maybe that's considered a top. And then that's on the top part of this, okay? And then the bottom part is my bottoms. <laughs> As you can see here, I carry one, two, three, four, five, six bottoms, workout bottoms. Usually Lululemons, just because I'm pretty loyal to the brand. I love it. They have a lifetime warranty, which means if anything happens, I can just bring it back and a new one will come to me. So it's probably my most expensive clothing investment. Having all these Lululemons, I have one, two, three, four, and then I'm wearing my fifth one on the plane but they serve me so well. They wash well, they work internationally. If anything ever happens, if the string pulls or the seam comes out, I bring it back and they replace it for me for free. 
And then I bring three nighties. I keep them in here just because it makes the most sense. <laughs> and they're usually just loose t-shirts. This one's the Blue Jays, representing the Blue Jays. The little nighties I bring. Um, and in my bottoms, I also have two pairs of shorts. So I have five Lululemon pants and two pairs of workout shorts. And that's my workout packing cube. I roll them to keep them nice and organized. You can see like that. And then I have my dresses packing cube, which I love. So out of fairness, if I'm on the road for six months, I'll probably buy two or three new dresses and give away two or three dresses. But right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dresses slash, romp, slash rompers. Um, really beautifully colored. Um, you'll see a lot of them in the Instagram photos, to be honest, but like I said, I think I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to probably do a full-on clothing video because, I don't know, I really like my clothes, they're dope. Like, I'll take this one jumper, for example. This beautiful camel color, I got it from Winners, and it's in like a wraparound thing, and it's super sexy. There's a peep, peep hole in the tummy area, it's like that. Well, not like that, but you get the point. You get the point. Stunning. So I love my dresses and my rompers. Um, I'll get tired of them probably in about four months, at which point I'll be probably be in Hong Kong and I can do some shopping. Um, and I'll replenish, and Bali has great shopping too, so I'll probably do some there. But this is my dresses container, I got eight of those. And then last but not least, probably my most worthwhile container because, or packing cube, because of just its sheer size and variety, is my tops and bottoms. Hold my tops here. Doing a lot of fun prints and colors this season. So you'll see them on the photos. And then I do my bottoms. And the bottom cube, as I've mentioned in the past, I have a jean skirt, I have a jean pant, I have some cute skirts, just like that. My bottoms are usually neutral colored and my tops are usually the more fun ones. Mixing and matching has been my savior. So I'll give you an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottoms here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tops will probably garner me maybe 40 outfits. I kid you not. Mix and match has been my thing. So I usually pick a color palette. This season it's really bright tops, oranges, yellows, greens, and the bottoms are all kind of neutral. So you can mix and match and they look like completely different outfits. Um, I also bring one loose sweater which is a longer sweater with me on the road. Because um, I have my sweatshirt that I bring on the plane with me, but this little loose sweater is when I need to kind of dress it up a bit and want to be covered. But honestly, I don't travel the cold climate, so most of my tops are cute and small. I'll show you this one, I love this top, it's new. Cute and small and easily easy to roll. I will say one of the things over the years that I've done with my clothes is I've made sure that they're kind of semi-wrinkle proof because finding an iron can be a little hard. Um, but a lot of them are cute little crop tops. I love this yellow top. I've worn it my last season. I'm gonna wear it again. Like, it looks like this and you crop it, it's adorable. But yeah, like I said, mix and matching. So I have my eight dresses, so that's eight outfits right there. Just throw in like the additional 40 outfits you have with this mix and match pattern palette that I have. We got almost 50 outfits there. Some people are like, how on earth do you always have all these clothes and all these outfits and you live at a suitcase? It's like, it's mix and match. You can have four bottoms and four tops and get at least 10 dope outfits out of it. And you can use things like your sarong to change it up. You can use things like, um, like layers to kind of make it look great. So you'll see it as I do this clothing video that I've now just decided I'm going to do to kind of show you how versatile it is. But in the interest of time, I wanted to wrap up with clothes because that's the question that I usually get the most of. So this is my clothes for the six months. It's key for me to stay in warm climates, A, because it brings me joy, B, because it makes my clothes really light. Um, I can't see myself in cold climates. I'll be in London at one point this year, like I said, to replenish, but I got my girl there that I'll be staying with and she'll let me borrow a jacket if I need it. And sometimes I've gone to places like, I went to Australia once. I've been to Australia twice, but once one of the times I went to Australia, I went in the dead of winter without knowing that it was gonna be that cold. So I went to a thrift shop, I bought a jacket 
and I have jeans and I have two pairs of pants, so I was able to kind of have that covered. Have my running shoes, so I used my kicks for the week. Went to the thrift shop, bought a jacket, and when I was done with my trip, I donated my jacket. <laughs> um, and that was how I used when the random time I was in a cold country. For the most part, I just stick to warm climates. That was a lot. So I hope you found value in that. Um, I love this lifestyle. I want to show people how easy and attainable it is. So if you have any questions, drop them of course below. But that's how I do my travel packing for six months. So you'll see lots of these outfits and these things I'm showing you in practicality during my, during my six months of travel. I take off in the next six hours um, and I can't wait. I will be back at home to replenish things and go through everything um, Christmas Eve, I guess. So yeah, that's it for me guys. I hope you have a fabulous day and let me know if you found value in this and I will definitely be doing more. Let me know what else you wanna hear about. I'm always open to creating for you. Mwah.